2023 Mitsubishi Outlander Fev First Test, How to Do a Plug-in Hybrid the Right Way Mitsubishi's all-wheel drive compact SUV leads with its electric motors for a better plug-in hybrid experience. A plug-in hybrid like the 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander Fev promises the best of both worlds, an electric powertrain for smooth, energy-efficient driving in daily use, and a gas engine for quick refueling stops and range extension on longer trips. Or that's the sales pitch, at least. Drive a plug-in hybrid, though, and you'll soon discover reality is more complicated. Many FEVs claim an electric driving range of 30 to 40 miles, but the gas engine often kicks on long before the battery pack is depleted. The difference between how a particular plug-in hybrid works on paper and how it works in the real world largely comes down to power. Some FEVs make only a whisper of horsepower with their electric motors. The Kia Sorento and Hyundai Santa Fe plug-in hybrids, for example, weigh about 4,500 pounds and make just 90 horsepower when the gas engine is sleeping. Want to keep up with traffic while pulling away from a stoplight? Want to merge onto the highway without becoming the hood ornament on a Freightliner? You're going to need to wake that fossil fuel burning dinosaur in the Hyundai or the Kia. You can't spell FEV without F. Mitsubishi understands that nothing kills the vibe of owning and driving a FEV like a buzzy four-cylinder engine booting up and revving to 5,000 revolutions per minute just two miles away from your driveway. Its $41,190 Outlander FEV leans heavily on the electric side of the powertrain, and the badges on the front doors fittingly read F from 50 feet away. There's a smaller superscript plug-in hybrid that's only obvious on closer inspection. Fortunately, there's some truth in advertising here. The Outlander is the only FEV on sale today with fast charging capability, and its 20.0 kWh battery pack is the largest in a plug-in hybrid. More critically, the two-motor, all-wheel drive electric powertrain can pull enough juice from the batteries, between 174 and 201 horsepower, depending on conditions, to comfortably keep pace with traffic without firing the engine. The Outlander FEV easily merges onto highways, pulls away from stoplights, and passes dawdling drivers without resorting to using its gas engine. If your commute is short enough, you can realistically drive the Outlander as an electric car day-to-day. -day. How short? Officially, the Outlander FEV can cover 38 miles on a full charge, although, as with any EPA electric range, the distance you can cover in the real world could be significantly less based on elevation, driving style, and weather. Curiously, the Mitsubishi's big battery pack doesn't translate to the best electric range among its competitors. Because the Toyota RAV4 Prime is significantly more efficient, its 18.1 kWh battery is rated for 42 miles of range. Cooking with gas To make its full 249 horsepower, the Outlander's motors need to draw electricity from both the battery and the generator that's coupled to the 2.4-liter inline-four engine. Matt the accelerator and the engine blares as the Outlander FEV runs to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, lopping more than 2 seconds off the effort of the 181 horsepower gas-powered Outlander. The revs surge and fall in direct relation to the position of the accelerator when the engine is running, so pedaling this SUV hard is often a noisy and disconnected experience. The gas engine can also directly drive the front wheels at highway speeds through a single-speed transmission once the battery is depleted, as this is more efficient than converting gas into electricity before sending the energy to the wheels. More efficient, however, is not the same as efficient. The Outlander is rated for a combined city-slash-highway rating of 26 miles per gallon after the battery has discharged, which pales even when compared with non-hybrid compact SUVs. An all-wheel drive Nissan Rogue gets 31 miles per gallon, and plug-in hybrid competitors absolutely clobber the Mitsubishi and engine on fuel economy. The Toyota RAV4 Prime is rated at 38 miles per gallon and the front-wheel drive Ford Escape plug-in hybrid earns 40 miles per gallon, and FEV models from Subaru, Kia, and Hyundai all land in the mid-30s. An experience to not remember. The Outlander rolls down the road with many of the same attributes that have helped Toyota sell millions of cars. The ride is generally comfortable, the cabin is quiet, and the outward visibility is good. In the way that it tracks through a corner or humps over a pothole, the Outlander is almost entirely forgettable, which many buyers might even see as a benefit. When pushed, the hefty 4,747-pound Outlander Fev rocks and seesaws on its soft suspension, and sharp impacts occasionally sneak past the springs and dampers to shake the structure, but its dynamic qualities can largely be summarized with one word, inoffensive. Ordinary drivers still may, 
however, notice the long, soft brake pedal that feels unresponsive at the top of its travel. The driver can choose from six different levels of regenerative braking, at least three too many, and yet even the most aggressive feels like coasting in a gas vehicle. For something closer to one pedal driving, you'll have to activate a seventh setting, which Mitsubishi calls the innovative pedal. This will cause the Outlander to decelerate at the same 0.3 grams as a Tesla when you lift off the right pedal, but the dirty secret is that Mitsubishi blends friction and regenerative braking to pull this off. It also won't slow the vehicle all the way to a stop, counting on the driver to hit the brake to handle the final few miles per hour. That's outdated, not innovative. What's on the inside matters. What's on the inside matters the Outlander's cabin will surprise anyone holding on to old ideas of the vehicles that Mitsubishi makes. With modern styling and materials, the Outlander's interior recasts Mitsubishi as a bona fide competitor in the crowded small crossover field. The standard digital instrument cluster, optional 9.0-inch infotainment screen, and climate controls are borrowed from the Nissan Rogue, which can only be interpreted as a good thing if you've seen what Mitsubishi comes up with when left to its own devices. This part-sharing program also gifts the Outlander Feb with supremely comfortable front seats that combine the seat frames used in the Rogue with unique padding for the Mitsubishi. Starting at about $500 less than the RAV4 Prime, the Outlander Feb is missing adaptive cruise control and a lane-keeping assistance system on its list of standard equipment. In the roughly $50,000 top model, though, Mitsubishi does offer a few uncommon features to upgrade the second row experience, such as three-zone climate control and rear window sunshades. The Outlander Feb standard third row is rare in the compact SUV segment. Try to clamber back there and you'll understand why. There's only enough room in the third row for running the elementary school soccer carpool. With a longer trip or larger kids, there are going to be complaints. Anyone who regularly needs seating for seven would be better served by a Chrysler Pacifica, Kia Sorento, or Hyundai Santa Fe plug-in hybrid. Fortunately, the third row has minimal impact on utility, as it packs down into a flat and low cargo floor. A preview of things to come. Mitsubishi hasn't mastered all the details with the Outlander Fev, but it gets the fundamental concept right. Expect to see more plug-in hybrids shift the balance of power from their combustion engines to their electric motors as automakers increasingly focus on EVs. For now, the 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander Feb is in rare company with the Toyota RAV4 Prime. It's one of the more effective ways to eliminate fossil fuel use from your daily driving without giving up the convenience and familiarity of gas stations for longer trips. We are interested in your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more videos. Thanks for watching.